Hey everyone, my name is Emily Wilkerson and I'm a sophomore at Pope High School and I'm so excited to be talking to y'all today. And so, fun facts about me, I really like gardening and since I have a lot of time on my hands, that has become a very big aspect of my life. And so as I've been spending more time out in my garden, one of the things that I've noticed is that all of my plants are always facing the sun, so much so that I had to put stakes in the ground and tie them to it so they don't keep falling over. And so I'm sure there's some scientific reason why, like some scientist has published a, why plants are always facing the sun, but I like to think of it as they know what's good for them and they know that, that the sun is gonna help them grow. And the sun is what gives them life and they know that they should constantly lean towards it. So similarly, the Lord is our sun and we should be like the plants. And so the Lord is what gives us life. And when we are seeking his presence, we can live in peace and comfort, knowing that he's never going to forsake us. And so in 1 Samuel 23, um, Saul was pursuing David in the wilderness. And so David wrote Psalm 63. And I think the first verse captures how we should be um, pursuing the Lord. So it says, you god are my god i earnestly seek you i thirst for you my whole being longs for you and so when david was in a time of immense trouble and he you know somebody was trying to kill him he's out in the wilderness he doesn't know you know what's going to happen to him um instead of looking at those circumstances instead he looks up and looks to the lord because he knew that the lord was going to take care of him but if you're like me, you're constantly looking around you and seeing how everything is just falling apart and how you don't know how to fix anything and you're just overcome with immense anxiety and just you're just overwhelmed all the time. Um, but the Lord reminds us in First Chronicles 16, 11 through 12, that if um, we look to the Lord and seek his face, we will see his strength and remember the mighty wonders that he has done. So in this time of uncertainty and panic, we can rest in the fact of knowing that if we stop staring at our surroundings and look up, the Lord is in control and he will provide and protect us. So as we're looking up, we slowly begin to grow in our faith and produce fruits just like my plants will be in a couple of months. And so we are better prepared to share the love of Christ with non-believers and encourage our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And so um, I'm just going to pray us out. And yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> All right. Um, dear God, I thank you for um, the day that you've provided for us and how you have cared for us and comforted us in this time. And I pray that you will continue to um, make your presence known and that um, we can look up to you and see your strength and your power and know that you are for us and you are with us. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen.